I trust the money is on its way. Mm. Here it is. The oldest jack-in-the-box ever discovered. The original jack-in-the-box. I believe this is the very one you've been looking for. Yes. This is the one. Finding it wasn't easy. This box was linked to a murder case a few years back. Some nut in Hawthorne drove its value on the black market through the roof with his ghost stories. Some sick-minded collectors would bleed themselves dry to get their hands on a thing like this. Thankfully, none of them have pockets quite as deep as yours. This will be a wonderful addition to our vintage toy collection. It will take pride of place. Mr. Huxley, can I ask you not to smoke that in here? Well, you can ask all you like, but I don't take orders from the help. Do as he says. Well, that briefcase will get a whole lot lighter. I'm no servant. You sure fooled me.
quite a sight, isn't it? It certainly is. It always takes them a lifetime to open these old gates. We'd break into Fort Knox quicker. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. You must be Edgar. It's a pleasure to meet you. This place is incredible. It certainly is. I often forget how lucky we are. This has been home to Mother and I for 20 years. I'm not used to luxuries. She never spares expense. Is your mother here? I'd really like to thank her for the opportunity. She won't want to be disturbed. She's been bedbound for some time now. That's awful. She has osteosarcoma, cancer of the bones. The agony she feels with each movement, it's, uh, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. She's been seen by every doctor, every expert we could find. She was given roughly six months to live. That was five months ago. But I'll never give up on her. She's a fighter. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Please, come in. Your duties here are all focused on the general upkeep of the manor, mainly cleaning and ironing. I'll brief you every morning with the tasks for the day ahead. Your room is on the first floor. The floor is shared with your colleagues, Janet and Frank. My mother and I occupy the top floor. We don't charge for the room or even any meals you're provided with. You are treated in many ways as one of the family. All we ask in return is that you follow our rules, strictly. Have a read. I, uh, I think you'll agree the role pays quite handsomely. Quite. A nine o'clock curfew. No one comes in or out of those gates from 9 p.m. onwards. I don't fancy your chances over those 10-foot walls, so please, make sure you're on this side of the gates at sunset and we won't have a problem. Well? <laughs> Welcome to Rosewood Manor. Mother. Oh my God! <laughs> Mr. Huxley is dead. 
How? Who did this? This box, Edgar. It's not what you think it is. It was built to contain something not of this world. A demon. By opening the box, I have released it. And if it gets what it wants, it has the power to rid me of my illness. I will be healthy once again. What does it want? Six sacrifices. And I will live. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. I need your help, Edgar. None of the staff are to leave the grounds. You must keep them here by whatever means necessary. To die. It needs five more victims. You must bring more to the manor. I'm not sure I can do this. We've done the impossible before. You're stronger than you know. Will you help me, Edgar? Is anybody there? You've got to help me. Mr. Huxley? Me out of here. I'm begging you, have mercy. Open the box, Edgar. Why should I help you? Have mercy. I'm begging you, have mercy. Let me out, Edgar, now! Let me 
Come on. That vase was only worth about a grand. Don't worry. I'll tell her I did it. I've been here way too long to get kicked out now. Thanks. I'm Janet, by the way. I'm on housekeeping duty too. Frank, I'm the chef. It's great to meet you both. So, everything all right so far? Yeah, so far so good. Where's the house phone? I just, I can't get any signal anywhere and I could do with making a call. <sighs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, there's no house phone here. And honestly, good luck getting signal, cos I've tried many times. I, just, I need to call my boyfriend. Well, my ex. Is there a computer here? I could send an email. No. Nope. There's no internet either? Welcome to the 1800s, lovely. <laughs> He's outside, out of mind. It's a blessing in disguise. Trust me. Check. Oh, come on. I've got you cornered, it's all over. Can I have a go? Please do. I'm not very good at this chess log. Let's see what you got, city girl. You're just going to run around the board all night, aren't you? I'll be honest, you didn't strike me as a chess player. Why? Well, you don't meet many attractive chess players. Thanks. <laughs> there wasn't much else to do but play games growing up in an orphanage. When I started beating the adults, outthinking people twice my age, gave me the belief that I could plan an escape. You escaped the orphanage. But I came straight back the next day. <laughs> Why? I just needed to prove to myself that I could. From that point on, I was no longer afraid of where I'd end up. I took comfort knowing that if I ended up in a bad situation with a family that mistreated me, I could find my way out of anywhere. Checkmate. <laughs> yes! I think she's gonna fit in just fine around here. Don't you? Come on. Those creaky floorboards. Are you sure they didn't see us? Yes, I'm sure. He's so paranoid. You look pretty scared too. 
I'm gonna get scared. <laughs> Liar. Mm-hmm. Frank. What? I can't do this. I'm sorry, my mind is racing. Fine. I'm sorry. Very funny, Janet. Open the door. <laughs> All right, this isn't funny. Open the door. You know I get claustrophobic. Open the door. Damn it! Again, hasn't it? Frank is dead. Every life the demon takes increases its strength. And as it gets stronger. So do you. Uh, I'm another step closer. Oh. <sighs> Have patience. You won't let me down, will you, Edgar? Hmm? The demon must continue to get what it wants. We're gonna finish this. Together. I won't rest until it kills four more. Whatever it takes, Mother. I'm going to keep you alive. I promise.
should have told me that you were coming. Do you always wear that? My what? That perfume. I bought that for you for special occasions. Well, look, Edgar, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I need to talk to you. I have to tell you something. It's killing me keeping it to myself. Please. I think you should look at trying to get some professional help. I've never seen you like this before. You used to be so happy and so full of life. I want that Edgar back. My Edgar. Not the one that she makes you. What do you mean? No, I'm, I'm not trying to upset you. What do you mean? I don't like the way your mother treats you. You've spent so much time caring for her recently. You change. Like the more time you spend around her, you... you become someone else. She gave up everything for me. If she had told the police the truth about what I did, my life would be over before it even began. I'm forever in her debt. Look, I think we could both do with a nice cup of tea.
Frank? You're really late, it's almost 7.30. Frank's not here. He left the manor last night, so... I will prepare Mother's breakfast myself. Thanks. That wasn't funny. <laughs> I'm just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> <clears throat> what the hell is that thing? Some sort of antique jack in a box, I guess. It's a new one. Olga's always had a taste for weird collectible stuff. Not much of a looker, though, is he? Look at those eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I wouldn't have done it if I knew it'd bother you this much. <laughs> I assume Edgar told you about Frank. Yeah. I woke up to a note outside my door. He said it was missing home, so... And he talked about leaving before? We talked about leaving every day. But we were going to do it together. We were going to start a business and... Secretly, I hoped we'd start a family too. I just don't get it. Frank hated going home. I clearly didn't know him as well as I thought. He didn't care about me as much as I thought. I'm sorry, Janet. Like I said. Out of sight. Out of mind.
you are consumed by guilt, aren't you? We are on the cusp of a miracle, yet you feel guilt over them, a, a salesman and a cook. They are people, flesh and blood like you and I. They are nothing like us. What happens when people go looking for them? What happens when they come here? When all this is over, we will start again. Somewhere so far from here, no one will ever find us. We've done it before, we will do it again. But that's not all, is it? I'm fine. Don't lie to me, boy. It's that girl you've been seeing, isn't it? Hmm? Stacy. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Whatever she's done, she's not good enough for you. None of them are. That's enough, mother! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is all just too much. How did you find out about the box? How did you find out about any of this? Many years ago, I discovered the diary of the box's creator. He dedicated his life to the study of demons. The box was created to contain the most powerful demon he ever encountered. The Yakis Tamara. Yakis Tamara? The Demon of Torment. If the box was built to contain it, why can it be opened? Because it was never meant to stay locked. Many have opened it, but I believe we are the only ones alive know the box's true purpose. To make a single wish. A wish granted for unleashing the demon. A wish granted by the demon? Yes. A reward for allowing it access to our world once again to find six victims. You asked for life. Why does the demon need to kill? It takes its victim's life, their strength, their soul. Everything is transferred to the demon. But most of all, killing keeps its hold over Didier. Didier Dubois, its human host. The creature was once human. Dubois was a clown in the Victorian era. For as long as he could remember, he was plagued with voices in his head. They demanded he kill his own family. They grew louder by the day. You see, the Yakis de Mar initially takes control of the mind. But it grows inside its human host like a cancer. Eventually, taking over the body completely. Dubois sought to exorcise the demon. But it was too late. It had already taken too strong of a hold.
Bois knew he was running out of time. The demon would soon use him to unleash unthinkable cruelty. To save his family's life and any others who crossed his path, Dubois demanded he be cast into the box. Forever. Dubois was betrayed. The creator wanted a child, a son God wouldn't give him. Once enough time had passed for the Jack to take full control of Dubois, the deal was made. But Jack was unleashed. It claimed its victims. The first deal with the demon was complete. Creator was rewarded with a son. This was never going to be easy, Edgar. But a great reward requires great sacrifice. Are you here? It's me. Edgar? You were not alone last night. You're not as careful as you think you are.
even at my lowest, when I told you my mother was dying, you couldn't discuss your happiness. You were counting down her final days, weren't you? Weren't you? I thought you were the one. The one I would one day share everything with. But in the end, I want to thank you for making me realize that she is all I truly need. And now mother will always be there for me. No matter what. Goodbye, Stacy. always been a bit unusual. A bit weird. Has he ever had a girlfriend? I've seen him with plenty of women over the years, but something's always got in the way. Or should I say, someone. He gets infatuated and she gets in his ear. I think Mrs. Marsdale is scared she'll be replaced. You should see him with a drink in him, though. He really livens up. Really? He becomes an open book. One night, he even taught... And no. No, I can't. Oh, go on. A few years ago, he got absolutely hammered. And he started talking to me out of the blue about his time back in America. And you could see he was out of control, but I just couldn't stop him talking. It's like he needed to tell his story to someone. Edgar's father also had a drinking problem and was often violent towards Mrs. Marsdale. 
Edgar said one day he just snapped. He couldn't stand back and watch his mum being beaten up any longer. So, took his father's gym bottle and smashed it over his head. He killed him. He was only 12 years old. Mrs. Marsdale framed Edgar's uncle and the two fled the country. I've always got the impression she will never let him forget what she did for him. You can see it in his eyes. A look of determination to make her happy. He would die for that woman. That's why you should never be afraid of him. Because despite what that worm wants you to believe, he has no power around here. None whatsoever. <laughs> Only motherer <laughs> drops the axe. But it stays between us, okay? I promised him the next morning that I wouldn't tell a soul. He literally begged me. He begged? Yeah. <laughs> he was on his hands and knees. Right where you're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
wie ich. How are you feeling? I thought this would help. I want to go home, Edgar. I want to leave today. What happened last night? I don't know how to... Um... Just say what's on your mind. You don't want to tell me? I'm afraid you'll think I'm crazy. Try me. Last night, I... I saw... You saw what? I've never seen anything like it before. But whatever it was, it wasn't human. It was... It was some sort of creature. I'm not making this up. You don't believe me. Well... Well, what? It's not logical, Amy. But I know what I saw! Are you sure? What? <laughs> Look. Take the day off. Take the rest of the week off. Janet and I will cope. I'm sure the rest will do you some good. Now, Dr. Clark is on his way. He's a good man. He's been a blessing for Mother and I these last few years. Do as he says, and I promise you, you'll be right as rain. In the meantime, if you need anything, anything at all, just shout. You're in good hands with us down here, Amy. There's no safer place to be. Are you taking any medication? No. Difficult question. No judgment, of course. Have you taken anything you shouldn't have in the past 24 hours? Recreational drugs are one of the most common causes of hallucinations. It wasn't a hallucination. <clears throat> uh. 
I meant to give you... I'm going to suggest you get plenty of rest. I'll leave you my card. My direct number is at the bottom. Please feel free to give me a call if you have any further problems or concerns. No matter what time or what the problem is. Look after yourself, Amy. You didn't do it, did you? Why are you doing this? This is just wrong. Why are you lying to her? Keep it down. I'm going to tell Amy the truth. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Ruin what? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't go up there and tell her the truth. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Do you think I'm afraid of you? No. Not of me. But you should be afraid. Is that right? Afraid of what? <laughs> you have no idea. Never contact me again. Open the gate! Edgar, open the damn gates! You think you can keep me here too? got rid of his car. He would have told someone. Somebody knows he was here. 
We need to finish this and get away quickly. I've locked down the manor. The sins. Tonight. What's wrong? The doctor gave you meds, didn't he? No. Well, I think he was going to, but for some reason he changed his mind. I overheard something earlier that I definitely wasn't supposed to. I couldn't catch what they were saying exactly, but... I saw Edgar give the doctor money. He gave him a lot of money. It looked like he was being paid to give you something. Give me what? You think I got paid him to give me pills? The doctor seemed against what they were scheming with to begin with, but the cash, well, that changed everything. <sighs> Why would he do that? Something's happening here, Janet. Something strange. Look, it's missing. What is? The gate key. It's gone. Edgar's taken it. Well, why would he take that from us? I told him I want to go home and he wouldn't let me, so he's got the gate key and he's locked it, hasn't he? Well, give me another explanation. You can't, can you? My mind's made up. I'm gonna find that key and I'm getting out of here. Are you coming with me?
Please help me. Who's begging now? No, no. Janet? Amy? No! Open the door! Open the door now! Open the door! Open the door! Fighting it, Amy. There's nothing you can do. demon must be the one to take your life.
wanted to see you smile again. smile again even if I'm not here to see it a life without you is no life at all consider us even Mother. <laughs> <laughs> 